since Mikey Garcia, <clears throat> Mikey Garcia declined the old Don King strong arm move with promotions, you know what I mean? He was trying to get a fight. Mikey Garcia was trying to get a fight with Jorge Linares. Golden Boy tried to pull the Don, Don King strong arm move tactic. If if Mikey wanted to fight with um, Jorge Linares, he'd have to fight. He'd have to sign a multi-promotional deal, you know what I mean? It wouldn't just be for one fight. The man Mikey Garcia declined. Obviously, he's a free agent, and he's enjoying being a free agent. He calls his own shots. No promoter, nobody tells him who, when, where, and who to fight. And the man's going to call his own shots. Well, you know, a lot of people thought that the man Mikey Garcia wasn't being vocal about Robert Easter. He was basically, Mikey was calling out every other champion at 135 lightweight, from Terry Flanagan to Jorge Linares. But he wasn't calling out Robert Easter, but... According to the Los Angeles Times, Robert Easter looks like the f most favorable candidate for a fight versus Mikey Garcia, maybe on December 16th, God willing, if not sometime early January next year. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, that's a very good fight, you know. The man, um, Mikey Garcia, that would, if he does fight on December 16th, that would actually be his third fight for 20, 2017, you know what I mean? Beating um, Dejan Zlatikin or Zlatichanin in January of 20, 2017. Beating Adrian Broner in the summer of 2017. And hopefully December he gets this fight with Robert Easter. A unification. And like I said, man, all champions in every division should unify with other champions at least once a year. You know what I mean? One mandatory, one voluntary, one unification for every champion. If a champion had that kind of mindset, believe you me, boxing would be in a better place. You know what I mean? But I like to hear this news. You know, I'm really looking forward to seeing if this fight gets made. You know, even fellas like um, Errol Spence. Yeah, he was offered a shot at Miguel Cotto just like... Mikey Garcia wanted a shot at Miguel Cotto. But I'm sure in order for these guys to get a shot at Miguel Cotto, they'd have to f sign a multi-promotional deal. And these fellas ain't trying to do that. And I don't blame them. You know what I mean? Don King, been, been done that. These fellas are hip, man. These guys are actually more businessmen than um just fighters. You know what I mean? They want to put their career and their destiny in their own hands and call their own shots. And I applaud what Mikey Garcia doing, you know? But a fight against him versus Robert Easter, that would be a very entertaining fight. Two different clashes of styles. Robert Easter, in my opinion, who he's had two title defenses ever since he beat Richard Comey. A fight, in my opinion, I thought Richard Comey won by one point. You know, the knockdown was the difference. But Robert Easter didn't look particularly good that good in his last fight versus Dennis Shafikov. Nobody looks good against Dennis Shafikov, but I had that fight a draw. So Mikey Garcia probably seen some flaws in this guy's game, and he's ready to um, try getting get Robert Easter in the ring with him. And I hope they make this fight happen. Let me know what y'all think about this fight. Do you like it? I do. It's a unification. WBC, IBF, and lightweight. Mikey Garcia is trying to fight Jorge Linares. Golden Boy Promotions ain't trying to give him up like that. Jorge Linares, just in case he lose, you know, they would still like to have Mikey Garcia on their team. You know what I mean? They wouldn't want Mikey Garcia just to snatch Jorge Linares titles and just run off in the wind, you know? So that's why Mikey Garcia is trying, does, hasn't got that unification fight. But in my opinion, Robert Easter would even be a tougher matchup. Be Marsh Boxing, leave your thoughts and comments. Let me know what y'all think about this fight, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next bit. Link in the descriptions. I'm gone. Peace.